you here for the cure? No. Actually, I was just leaving. No one ever leaves. Well, there's a new horror movie out. Not, not a traditional kind of horror movie. More of a suspense thriller in the uh, horror format as it goes along. It's called A Cure for Wellness. Uh, what it really needs is a cure for its two and a half hour running time. This movie is way too long. Now, if they chopped off uh, about 40 minutes, turned it into a tight 90 minute uh, little movie, it might have been a nifty kind of B-horror movie. Instead, it is so overblown that uh, instead of looking at the screen, you'll be looking at your watch wondering, when is this thing ever going to end? What do you make of that? Clearly he's lost his mind. Our thoughts exactly. It starts off nicely there in the big city. What happens is uh, there's some legal shenanigans going on, some bad dealings at a financial services company. And the CEO of that uh, has a split for Switzerland to get him, retrieve him and bring him back uh, for uh, his punishment for uh, turning the company uh, into this big mess. Uh, they send a young stockbroker, this guy, uh, does not look like he's out of high school. His name is Lockhart and he's played by Dane DeHaan. Dane DeHaan goes there, thinks he's going to find this guy and bring him back to the company uh, for his comeuppance, but it isn't quite that easy. And when he arrives at this place, it's tucked in the Alps there in Switzerland. It is this kind of sanitarium, this place where older people go to get rejuvenated. I would like to recommend a treatment. And that it all involves water, folks. Yes, they drink the water. It's magical. It's supposed to make you young again. Oh, I better not drink the water because I've seen this movie and I know what happens when you drink the water. But no, our little hero Lockhart, he doesn't know what happens when you drink the water. And uh, trouble uh, occurs very early on. Unfortunately, it is dragged out on and on and on over this movie. He meets this mysterious young woman named Hannah who says, you know, you will never leave this place. Uh, neither will the audience in the theater, apparently, as this movie uh, keeps going. Are you ready, Mr. Lockhart? Well, the big villain in this movie is played by uh, Jason Isaacs. He plays Volmer. Volmer is uh, kind of a sinister guy, although it's revealed in a very slow manner. He runs this joint and he uh, sees uh, Lockhart as his latest prey. Uh, all of this plays out over and over again, like I'm doing this review, I know. Uh, hey, you know, maybe you shouldn't get water when you go to the refreshments counter when you see this movie. Uh, it's not a good idea. Neither really was a cure for wellness, which comes from director Gore Verbinski, who has done some pretty good stuff. He won an Oscar uh, for an animated film he did. Unfortunately, he also did The Lone Ranger. This movie's not much of a comeback for him. Uh, it needed somebody like Vincent Price or Boris Karloff from those great old uh, horror movies where they knew how to handle this kind of material. This one takes itself way too seriously. I'm sorry, but a cure for wellness just made me sick. I say no. It's all part of the cure. There is no cure!